Welcome from yeah. the M3 owner, guys. Yeah. So, okay, this that's is, good. This is where it's at, y'all. No joke. Kia, good job. Freaking downtown with all their one ways and everything, bro. It's insane, man. Dude, the turbo sound never gets old in this car. It makes everyone like, what is that? All the time. Nice job on the turbos, Kia. I guess I should think the engine intake. I don't know, dude. Like, I'm stuck down here because they got the interstate. Dude, this thing pulls so hard. It's dry out and I have all wheel drive. Completely different than that BMW. That thing's a maniac on steroids, okay? First, second, and even third gear, I was spinning. But it's engineered in such a way where I had control of it and I didn't feel like, you know, I, I was a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie, driving that car, but yeah. Has anyone ever complained about your uh, cold starts though? the absolute building that's insane man <laughs> the front splitter is holding up perfectly i know a couple people were mentioning that in the front center here it was hanging down on them after a couple weeks mine is perfect it's just like day one let me tell you this thing's been through a lot of high speed winds so if anything were to happen by now i would say it would have indicated some sort of issue if that was the case I did use the 3m tape and i used you know, rubbing alcohol before I did it. So super happy with this front splitter. This thing gets a ton of compliments. I think once this thing gets dropped to get rid of this wheel gap here, it's really gonna look good. Yeah, more to come on that. I will keep you posted though on this, like I said I would. All right guys, so we are gonna flip the script a little bit. We are in the big body Stinger. And of course we have an M3 owner driver here what are your first impressions man of, of sitting in here is this your first time you're smiling <laughs> <laughs> big bro this is my first time ever sitting in a stinger and i can say a lot of different words but i think expression says it all yeah man. And i'm smiling am okay. i not smiling right now yeah man that means a lot bro to me for real I, I mean this this car gets a lot of positive attention it's rightfully so i mean it's a it's a gorgeous exterior the interior once i get in here the materials compared to the bmw you know obviously you're going to find that little grade difference of course yeah but it's solid yeah you know it's solid it's not like yeah. cheap plastic that you typically find some places the materials are nice i yeah. like the finish what's this like brushed aluminum yeah, right and here I feel it it's colder that's how you guys always know if something's like aluminum or plastic so by the first touch it'll be a little cooler it's a small thing it's like you were saying about my car it's the small things this double handle is so nice yeah this leather i love yeah, red yeah. my first bmw ever my 428 mm -hmm. grand coupe had red interior oh so you're cool a uh, you're a bmw uh you're loyal you like you, loyal. you like your yeah. bmw okay well, i got bit by the bug early <laughs> <laughs> i love a square bottom you know what man that was one of the first things i noticed when i got into this car the square bottom and getting in and out it's actually a little functional it's like easier a lot of easier and they put the gt right up on the right bottom. there on the bottom is crisp like i like it Right on. I would just wish that the screen was bigger, but you're, I got spoiled though. You, you got know, super spoiled. Well, uh, but you get what you pay for to some extent you, yeah. in life, right? Yeah. Not yeah. every, I mean, not, not everything, everything but, but in that, obviously, you know. But uh, 2022, the year after this one, they redid they, that, and it's more along the lines as yours. Yours is definitely still wider, even yeah. than the brand new ones. Not as tall, maybe, but yeah. you make up for it in your freaking in the display <laughs> right here in the clusters. But man, I could jump out of my car and jump into this, and vice versa just from the interior, not even driving this, yeah. and feel very comfortable. It, it's and big, I feel man. like, and, I mean, look and at all the headroom like, you got. Oh yeah, I mean like, I'm, <laughs> and I'm small, I'm so small, <laughs> and this is perfect. Yeah. Like, I'm glad you like it, man. We both got a radar detector. I noticed you had one in there. Which yeah. one? Who makes yours? What do you got? Um, Escort. Escort. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's a unit in, man. I, I tap mine in there because I can't stand wires hanging no, down. No, wires. I just had the battery version, which, I mean, I don't need anything too crazy. Zoe is in the Stinger for the first time. He let me drive his so I can only pay back the favor. That's the yeah, the warm start on these are actually pretty fire. It's like a little grumble. A little it gives grumble. You. You're gonna notice a huge difference. I noticed a huge difference, obviously, with yours. This car is like, what, 600 pounds heavier? <laughs> it's, it's a lot it's bigger. bigger. It's just, I can tell it's big. Feels 
I'll let you get used to it. I'm gonna put it in comfort mode first because that's gonna be more conservative. That way you can get used to it. And then we'll put you in sport mode, full balls to the wall, let you uh, experience the all wheel drive. The cool thing about this car that I think Kia did, man, this is like straight up in comfort mode. I feel like this this is like a family car that's yeah. functional. Hatchback, it's big inside, like, you know. Well, like I was saying before, like now actually getting in here and feeling how this drives, I could jump out of my car into this and be very satisfied. Yeah, and it's all wheel drive, so you it's got- all wheel drive. Yeah. And I can feel it's all wheel drive. Oh, I like the steering wheel, actually. Yeah, the flat bottom is tight, man. Flat bottom is nice. And you said for manual mode, I could just switch okay, it. Okay, yeah. Switch. When you want to go in manual mode, you just slap it over. It'll stay in manual. Now, you can use the paddle shifters and, and regular driving over to the right. Okay, that's just like But it'll default. But it defaults back to yeah, automatic. Yeah, but if, when you go come to a complete stop and you want to be in first gear, you just leave it in manual. So, okay. do whatever you want. But you have to come into a complete stop? No, you put can, it in manual? You can do it. No, whatever you want. You can just slap that over. Okay, whenever even you feel when like you're it. driving? Yeah, okay. even when you're driving, you can use the paddle shifters. And then this knob here, you're in comfort right now, so it's pretty conservative. But you'll turn this over to the right. Okay, sport, yeah. eco, smart. Wow, so you have a lot of different little functions. Yeah, smart mode's kind of like your car. It'll get used to your driving habits and styles and stuff that's like that. That's smart. Well, that's why it's called smart mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave you in sport mode. Sports where I live, man. Gurgles, gurgles, dude. Yeah, you see? Hear that. They're not going to hear it on the camera. I'm always talking about the gurgles. Man, you cannot hear that on the camera? Mm, nah. It's deep. It's deep once you... Dude, the only time I can get it on the camera is when I add the lavalier mic and run the mic back to the back. Oh, okay. Wow. Sport. Yeah. Sport's right there. Sport, sport's right sport's there. ready. Okay, so I will. I won't lie. The ride in this is a is a lot smoother. It's it's comfier. Yeah, but for I mean, sure. ooh, that pull. Oh wait, dude, just wait. Due to having uh, manual second gear, two thousand RPM, going like twenty five, and romp it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's coming from yeah. the M3 owner, guys. Yeah. So, okay, this that's is, good. This is where it's at, y'all. Like, no joke, Kia, good job. You could definitely tell the different driving styles between a BMW, an M3, and this. Oh, handling and stuff? The Absolutely. Handling and stuff. Oh, yeah, but yeah. This is. You're light years ahead. Wow, this is. <laughs> I would forget this is a Kia. Yeah, yeah. You notice the details, like on the mirrors on the inside there, how they yeah, have the little, the little lines. lines right there. I wonder if that has to do with coefficient of drag. Oh, here, yeah. It probably drag, yeah. I love the downshifts, I love bro. the downshifts in this. Man. Since you're in sport mode, my favorite thing to do, and since it's all-wheel drive, is go in second gear around 25 miles an hour, RPMs at around 3K, and romp it. And romp it. Shift okay. it shift it at 55 or six if you can. Six is where the max horsepower is. Okay. And we're in map four right now. So you're running full balls, like it's full potential. Okay. That's what I've also forgot though, is that you do have the JV4 installed on this. And I think I can hear and feel a lot more once you, like once I get out of second gear, it just, it's so fast. Yeah. Stop. Please. We're gonna put it in comfort mode and do non-manual. Okay. Now just drive it normal and then tell me if you feel like you see how the it yeah, just shifts really it quick. It shifts really quick. Becomes like almost like a luxury car. Yeah. Like you don't even know this is tuned at all. It's just like a perfect daily. And taking off like this too, it'll just be like mm, 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 mm. I, man, I you hear the turbos pull up so much. Oh yeah. Right at two thousand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. On this one here, just take off normal and comfort mode. Okay. Um, just like you know, you're just driving to the gym, whatever you're doing, and you're gonna notice like a huge difference. You won't even know this is in map this. four. I love the size of this. Yeah, man. This is. Do you feel German uh, influence? Yeah. Oh, hands down. Yeah. Oh. I mean, they always say that B the... BMW is a benchmark. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of cars brands use theirs for design aspect right here I feel a lot of German inspired Volkswagen is what's coming to my mind. Yeah, for sure. I just oh, This is just well, yeah, just normal driving watch oh, That's quick 
feel like you're just it doesn't feel like you're in something no, tuned with no. E30 do you? No. It's just normal car, yeah. kind of just cruiser. And then watch. <laughs> Sport mode. Dude, it's, oh, you feel it instant. <laughs> it turns into a whole new beat. Wow. Yeah, man. This is nice. It's always fun hanging out. Dude, it's like car enthusiasts. I like we, this. We've never met each other ever before. We yeah. met each other one time. Yeah. We've been chatting on Instagram, but it's like you come together with a car, fellow car enthusiast and it's like you guys are bros. Yeah. You've been I bros mean, forever. I mean, that's just how it kind of falls in when you're in the car car world, you know? Yeah. You're, just, you're always out interested in the cars and I feel like that's what connects you to that individual and makes it feel like you've known each other for a long time. It's because you're so passionate about one thing that is is just in line and in sync. So, I mean, it's just like, yeah, you man. have a lot to talk about, a lot to, you know, yeah. feel like you're connected and it's, it's awesome. And yeah, I feel that. That's bro. why I like, I tell people, you know, join the car community. I mean, you know, go out to car meets, go out to cars and coffee because you're gonna meet a lot of cool people. Um, and just see a lot of cool cars. Yeah. I mean, no, no doubt, man. <laughs> I mean, it's the best of both worlds. I went to my first Cars and Coffee. I uploaded a YouTube video on it, man, and that was a great time. And the Stinger actually got a ton of love, bro. Oh, yeah. I was shocked. I would get one. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Seriously. Value proposition is where you got to look. You know what I mean? 100,000 yeah. mile warranty. It's it, That's where I was at with it, man. And it's different. I just want something different, it's, mainly. Yeah, you don't see a lot of these driving around. But somebody at my apartment complex has one of these. Okay. It's it's a red one, mm. cranberry kind of color. Ooh, that was nice. What is that? I was, it got me too. That was the AMG, AMG SUV, SUV, CLG 63. It looked crazy. But um, oh man, this thing is just silly in the tune mode. Oh yeah. Um, but he has one of those, the cranberry color. I loved it. I thought it was sexy. I mean, this one and that is the only ones I've really seen around. One thing I noticed in sport mode, like your car, mm -hmm. I love how it downshifts for you Down so you're not you, like so you don't always bog it down. bog it down yeah, yeah 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 a lot of times when i'm driving around i'm used to that function so i'll get in your car like this and i feel bad because some of my friends they don't have that mode so you really have to be on it and that's the thing i love about these kind of cars that they're designing now is more so with those kind of safety features built in mm -hmm. you're not always having to be feeling like you're driving a manual car in stop and go traffic Right. You know, yeah. and feeling like that stress of like, oh shit, I have to keep yeah, on shifting and worrying exactly. about my RPM. Rush hour traffic. So much nicer. And this is And you know what, man? You, a human can't shift like with a clutch and you, you can't shift faster than like a yeah. dual clutch or like your transmission. No. It's instant. Bam, yeah. bam. So for performance wise, yeah, you got it. I mean they got it down. You, you they got it down. I like the fact of being able to hop out of my car into this car and have some of the same tech and not feel a difference of like quality of life yeah you know yeah, yeah, when yeah. you're driving like and this feels very just the same same amount of quality of life that i have in the bmw i feel like i have in here that's awesome and dude the red leather i mean it's not boring yeah, it's not boring what do you think of the g70 so it's the same engine platform 3.3 three. i would take this yeah i like the looks of this uh, better this is this but, is the look is complete but the interior on those are kind of more along your lines yeah that's kind of like what i noticed with the g70s yeah but i feel like that's that was the thing that distinguishes that car from this mm -hmm. it's just the interior the you know the, it was a different approach of design for for that car i feel like this car they were trying to make it their more like the gt M3, like yeah the GT yeah type yeah of car you yeah know? and they succeeded I mean, audi s5 yeah audi s5 type you know horsepower is similar i think the s5 not the rs guys the, s the bmw Big difference yeah the bmw 320 mm -hmm. this would be like the m320 mm -hmm. yeah you know i mean i feel like this would this smoke. is like what 376 i believe horse at 6,000 rpm and, and i think then, the 320 is about 300 and 350 i thought i saw 348, 348 344 ish yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so but I mean, like you were saying though today, like this will keep up with even my car. And you know, and that's, wait till I do the TCU tune, bro. We're gonna come back, we're gonna get a better day. We'll, we'll get them next to each other, dry pavement. But I think that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be weird. All right, Zoe, man. It has been awesome hanging out with you, man. Great, I, great, yeah, great day. I really appreciate you letting me drive your car. I'm glad you got to drive mine. First time you drove a Singer? First time ever. And I'm saying if you're in the market for one, definitely get that you know definitely day, get that. For, that, for that price for the range, price yeah and for that daily i mean you know, right. might as well uh-oh uh -oh, my exhaust rattle might be might be back hear that oh yeah is it like it'll hit this metal it just 
You broke it, Zoe. Thanks, man. I had to get on it a little bit. The torque you made, you twisted it. But yeah, man, this car is sick. So guys, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. This is gonna be a series. We're gonna be coming back. When I do the TCU tune, I'm gonna let him drive it again. I think he's gonna be shocked when we're doing 0 to 60, 3.5, which is what this is rated at, but he's rear wheel drive. A lot of factors here, guys, a lot of factors here. This is gonna make a sick roll, a sick dig video. Actually, on the roll, I think you you got me on the roll. <laughs> I got you on the roll. Right now, right, you on do. On the dig, you got me. On the dig. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.